My name is Henry Colt. Today, my team and I are going to demonstrate a series of bronchoscopy step-by-step -step exercises. Just as one learns to play tennis or play golf in stages, or learns to play a musical instrument step-by-step, -step, one can also learn bronchoscopy using the systematic approach. We've thus deconstructed bronchoscopy into a separate group of exercises. This allows us to develop muscle memory and spatial awareness by identifying the appropriate lobar and segmental anatomy and learning to rotate the bronchoscope in an atraumatic fashion. Step 7 exercises takes us into the segmental anatomy. Let's begin on the left. We're able to visualize the left upper lobe and the left lower lobe. The left upper lobe takes us to the lingula and by flexing more into the upper division bronchus, the apical posterior segment and the anterior segment. Coming back to the midline, we enter the lower lobe bronchus, rotating the wrist sometimes to bring the scope into the superior segment posteriorly, and then rotating back to look at the basal pyramid. We are thus able to enter the postural basal, the lateral basal, and the anterior basal. Notice how the scope moves forward and back forward and back. We'll review this further with the step 8 exercises. The scope is moved back up the left side to the midline above the carina. The second part of step 7 exercises will take us down the right side. Keeping the scope in the midline, we move down the right main bronchus to the entrance of the right upper lobe bronchus, approximately 2 centimeters from the carina. As we enter the right upper lobe bronchus, we rotate the scope gently with our wrist, visualizing the anterior segment of the right upper lobe, and rotating back to visualize the posterior segment of the right upper lobe. Anterior posterior, anterior, posterior. Notice how each time the bronchoscope is pulled backwards just a little bit to make room for the tip of the scope to rotate within the lobar bronchus. In order to visualize the apical segment, one can flex the scope a little bit more and advance the scope up into the apical segment of the bronchus. Returning to the main bronchus, we enter the bronchus intermedius and we are able to visualize anteriorly the middle lobe bronchus, right bronchus 4 and 5, and directly across from it, the superior segment of the right lower lobe, right lower lobe bronchus 6. This is called the before 5, 6 exercise. RB4 and 5, RB6, RB4 and 5, RB6. Then visualizing the medial basal segment of the right lower lobe, requiring some rotation of the scope itself, and the basal pyramid bronchi, the anterior basal segment, the lateral basal segment, and the prostural basal segments, which we will review further in step 8 exercises.
Step 8 exercises will take us into the basal pyramid on both the left and right sides. Let's go down to the left lower lobe. Keeping the scope in the midline, we follow the curve to the left lower lobe bronchus beyond the superior segment and visualize the basal pyramid. We are able to enter the posterior basal segment, the lateral basal segment, and rotating the scope slightly, the anterobasal segment. Analogous to moving from one parking spot into another, it's important to not cross the midline. We must enter the segment and pull back. Enter the segment, pull back. Enter the segment and pull back. Eventually, with practice, you will be able to enter each segment more quickly and without traumatizing the spurs of these segmental bronchi. Moving the scope back to the carina, we can begin the inspection of the right lower lobe. Again, the scope is kept in the midline. We're able to move beyond the bronchus intermedius to visualize what we tend to call D'Artagnan and the Three Musketeers. The medial basal segment of the right lower lobe and the basal pyramid. The anterior basal segment, the lateral basal segment, the posterior basal segment. Once more, notice how simple rotation of the scope allows us to move atraumatically from one segment to the other. One musketeer, two musketeers, three musketeers, and of course, their leader, D'Artagnan. And back to the midline above the Karayim. We hope that you enjoyed these bronchoscopy step-by-step -step exercises. The movements are essentially the same, whether bronchoscopy is performed from the front, the side, or the head of the patient. Remember these basic principles of bronchoscopy, decision, intent, control, and confidence. These principles lead to a safe and effective procedure.